And so, got my big order finally in after a long period of time. Uh, it's four boxes. I don't know why, but this one is particularly heavy. So we're going to open this one up first and find out what's causing all the weight. So let's get right to it. Alright, so in the first box, I've got one, two, three, four things of meat. I've got a Flareon, I'm saving that. I got a Togepi. Really wanted the Togepi that was um, out a while back that was bigger, but I have yet to see it come back on Toraba or anything. Ah, here's some other things. Uh, we got the Sakura Nemu Nekos. So as you can see, I actually use this as a point to win some of these. Uh, I'll make sure to upload my Toraba wins at some point. Uh, I'm gonna start Torba Tuesdays and all that. Oh wow, he is big um, and soft. He's like a full blown thick pillow. This is the, uh, I wanna say Mochi Seal. And then I managed to get a Bakugo. Um, box is smaller than I expected even though I've seen it in person before, but yeah, not too bad. Put that there. One of my other Nemu Nekos, so that's two. These are the two pink ones that I won. Oh, this is probably what's weighing it all down. <laughs> um, so, they had the Super Saiyan Goku and uh, Broly movie chain wallets. Fairly easy to win. I did not realize they would be so heavy duty leather or um, uh, the chains would be so heavy. We're gonna actually go ahead and open one of these real quick. Uh, where'd I put that blade? Already lost, I'm gone and lost my blade. There we go. So because I, I might keep one of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and open one. It does not appear that I needed a blade, but it does make this part a little easier. There we go. And then just pop that open. <sighs> yeah, that is, that is some thick, heavy duty leather. Uh, pop it open. We've got a decent length chain. Now keep in mind these are Japanese style wallets. So credit cards or um, train pass cards would be over here. And then money would go over here. And then you would have a chain pouch or a change pouch in here. All in all, this is this is really good quality actually. I'm I'm really pleasantly surprised. Uh, the chain is about twice its length, give or take. So, I mean, yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, I think I will keep one of these. I will have to uh, see about that. So, we got one here. Then we got... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So a total of nine. Uh, some are Broly, some are the Goku. Yes, I hear you prancing around. I know, I need to get your nails trimmed. Go play. So we'll just put these over here. I uh, found launch in a really easy to win machine. I won and two shot at all these pretty much except for the last one I think. Was a little bit of a pain in the butt. Push you over, tighten that blade so it doesn't fall out. 
So two more launches. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put all this back in the box afterwards. This is gonna be one hell of a group photo. Uh, someone left the chain chomps in two decently easy win positions. One I one-shotted, the other I think two or three shots. So, and I've actually got the other chain chomps, uh, the, the gimmick balls, so I'll make sure to take pictures of both of them. So, and, oh, there's a tenth wallet in here. Missed one. And lastly, uh, Card Captor Soccer Clear Card. This machine was really strong. That being said, that does not mean she was an easy win. Uh, yeah. All in all, pretty good. Pretty good haul. Not bad for our first box. 10 wallets, lots of meat, so on and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back in the uh, box for a moment. Alright, first box down. Next up. In this one, we've got a bunch of the uh, new Pichus that came out. Some Waddle Dees, Sleepies. Some more Pichus, Pickles the Frog, this is the 25th anniversary one. I actually have the uh, Sakura one and another one of them. I'll take a picture of all of them together later on. So let's push all that over, hopefully it doesn't fall off, we'll see. You guys can go chill up here. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. More meat. More meat. You can never have enough meat. So that puts me at seven meats. These are the three browns. The other were the uh, medium rares. I got three of the all pink Nemuneku, Nemuneko uh, Sakuras. there and that appears to be it for this box so overall not too bad uh, this seems to be some of my bigger plushies all right toss you all in this is this is gonna be a startling family picture for my unboxing when I finally get it all set up I will not be surprised if anything tries to roll off On to box number three. Don't mind that, that's wrong. That's just, you know, for shipping purposes. Looks like this is the one where I won three of the big new stitches. Oh wow, they're soft. Uh, I was actually trying to help someone else win one. We managed to finally get that done at a very expensive cost overall, but uh, along the way I won three. Uh, basically had them wait in line right behind me and then when I thought it was in a winnable position I would drop out and let them try. And we would just round robin that. I got a couple of the little Dragonites. I have some of the big Dragonites, so actually I think I might just be down to one of the big Dragonites, so I'll make sure to take pictures with them. I got the King of Tarushivas. The Winking Squirtle, the newer one. I have the older one where his hand is posed out like he's, you know, waving at you as well. And then I've got three sleeping Kirby's to go with, you know, all my other Kirby's. 
I'll have to do a new family picture. So there you guys go. There's box number three. Pretty decent. Most of it's my big plushies, so definitely lighter than the other ones were. Especially that wallet one. I was definitely not expecting that. Just stuff these back in here. And we will move on to the fourth and final box. Obviously, I can't really lift this one up. Uh, this one's got a little weight to it, too, like the other one, but I don't think... I don't recall if I want any more of the uh, wallets, but we'll see. It's bursting at the seams, so I'm assuming it's plushies. So, I got a koala. I'm actually really surprised how soft this was. Someone was saying these were fairly stiff, but uh, maybe that was a different one. This one's actually kind of feels like squishing a marshmallow. So got him. Got the winking Charmander. I've got, what's this? Oh, this was the Eevee cushion that I managed to one shot. Okay. Uh, Rei Ayanami. I've actually got Asuka, so the only one I'm missing right now is Shinji. Um, Moomin, who is that mochi material, as you can see. Stretchy, excessively soft, very nice make, and he's pretty good size too. I got a Snow Miku. Oh wow, she has super soft hair. Um, she was a bit of a putz to win, but overall, really good. You gotta love Japanese quality. Oh, now I know which box this is. Yeah. We'll put the little Charmander I got here. Right next to that. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna toss these over here for a moment. Alrighty, let's count some Jolteons, shall we? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Plus three abras. Oh, one's trying to disappear on me. I didn't even throw a Pokeball yet. So yeah, there's that. Overall, really good haul on these. Uh, I was winning these using the uh, between the feet uh, technique. What a lot of people didn't really know because they couldn't see it is these are actually stitched together. So when it would hook onto there, it would hold better whenever the uh, hook went in between the feet. Anyways, uh, I will also announce the winner of my 300 subscriber giveaway since I recently hit over 300. Uh, that will be following this video. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pick the winner for my 300 subscriber giveaway. Um, out of the 310 subscribers that I had at the time of this, uh, only 159 had their information displayed, so for future reference, if you guys want to be entered into these, make sure to get your information set to public. If you need help with that, there's lots of YouTube videos out there, or you can contact me personally and I will try to help you out. Um, so out of the 159 people, let's go ahead and pick a number.
number is 113. Uh, I also put everyone in reverse order to give everyone as fair a chance as I could. Uh, let's see, 113 is Lena Guin. Sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, you won the Bread Boy and the Shaman plushies, so please contact me if you see this, and congratulations. I'll see you guys next time on my next how-to and all my other videos. I hope you guys stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and share.